I'm tapping into the weak and the innocent. I'm really a soldier, and that is the benefit. None of this shit was ever a coincidence. What's going on, everybody? Uh, Spiky Nation, YouTube, uh, wherever, wherever else this might end up on. Uh, probably mainly YouTube right now. Uh, this is a new series. As if I have consistent series already um, but this is something that I've been thinking about doing for a while uh, clearly as you can see you don't see my face um, you know this is this is uh, don't look at me I'm nervous um, this is my attempt of doing a car podcast type journal thing it's like a mixture of kind of what I've done before accumulated with you know a new a new idea a new spin on things so hopefully I don't always say this but hopefully we can stay a little bit more consistent with things because Sorry, I'm trying to get this drink out this bag. Um, but hopefully we can stay a little bit more consistent with these things because when I be driving, I be having my ideas and that's when I feel like I can record things the easiest just because like driving is one of those moments for me where it's just easy because I guess it's it's a good it's like it's like multitasking you know but like driving you obviously have to pay attention to driving which is what I always do like I'm always careful um, and this this is you know it's just this just seems like the best the best way to do this um, but anyways welcome to the first episode of don't look at me I'm nervous I think I'm just gonna jump right in today and you know if you if you don't know you might know that you know I'm a huge Eminem fan aka Marshall Mathers aka Slim Shady aka the GOAT uh, in my opinion uh, and a lot of other people's opinions you know I think the stats kind of talk for themselves also I hope background noise is it loud um, those will be things that we can work on in the future but you know you guys are somewhere um, anyways Eminem dropped his new album The Death of Slim Shady uh, I've listened to it a handful of times and I think it's a great album uh, I really I really think Eminem has once again captivated his just his alter egos like and just his talent overall you know um, the man has been the man has been doing it for almost three decades now and he's still on top of everything he's still the goat he's still one of the best rappers just that you know just flat out period he's still one of rappers um, obviously you know his content or his context or his subjects that he talks about in his music has always been quote-unquote controversial um, but he doesn't care he's always not cared and he's always told the people that he doesn't care um, so of the album is, you know, like, the, it's called The Death of Slim Shady, you know, but if you just go and you listen to the album and you pay attention to, like, the actual artwork itself and not get so offended like everybody else does, uh, you'll understand the whole premise of the album. I think that's just, I bought a shirt from... I can't remember where I bought it from, but it 
just said social media was a mistake. And it was because like everything has to be a big deal. But well, according to other people, but not everything has to be a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially, especially with something like this with Eminem. Like this is who he is. It's what he's been doing his whole career. And you know what I'm saying? Like, like people on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, obviously are like outraged. It is obviously like mixed emotions about the about the album, which is just it's just hilarious because that's like his whole goal. You know what I'm saying? His whole goal is to piss somebody off and to make somebody upset. But at the same time, he's never like really seriously put somebody like not at risk, but like single-handedly putting somebody out unless it was a rat beef but that's totally different because that's a rat beef you know what I'm saying that's part of the sport and the people who he beefed with beefed with him as well you, you know what I'm saying so the whole him being offensive to everybody Literally everybody, like, there's not one person that he doesn't, you know, like, I think that, like, the only people he doesn't, like, truly attack is black people. So what does that tell you? Because what he's doing in the sport that he's in, it's hip hop. He is a hip hop artist. Just like Kendrick Lamar. People on Twitter talking about his Not Like Us song. But that is hip hop. That's what hip hop is. And people are like, with that song, I don't want to get too off track with that, but people on Twitter are talking about like, Kendrick needs to let that song go. No, we don't need to let that go. Because the thing about hip hop or music in general is the true like great products are things that are timeless you know like you can forever listen to them once Kendrick dissed Drake I deleted all music of Drake's out of my phone because it's that serious like it's hip hop like I grew up listening to hip hop and, and loving hip hop and rap like it's much more than what the, the artist is saying. Like, of course, what they're saying is important, you know, because like bumble rap or whatever, whatever you want to call it, or just all the genres of rap that are just completely ass, you know? Um, also, ignore if my camera shakes when I break. I think I need to get my brakes checked or something checked, um, you know, I, I drive a, I drive a 2014 Chrysler 300, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a great car, but it's probably time for some maintenance, you know, uh, so if you're listening to this and you drive an older car, you know, maybe go get some maintenance on your car because it's essential and nobody wants a car to break down. But anyways, uh, what I was saying, I don't remember. But basically, the whole the whole premise of Eminem's album, I think I got off track. But the whole premise of Eminem's album is like he's gonna continue to say what he wants to say. He doesn't care, and people on the internet will like make fun of that and, and like try to get some clicks and views and likes off of that. But at the same time, you just look dumb, you know, because, like, it's just weird. It's like, it's like a certain demographic who will, like, go out of their way to poke fun at what he's doing 
but at the same time he's like poking fun at the people who are poking fun at him who are poking you know what I'm saying like it's just it's a constant domino effect and it's just I mean like I don't care what people think but it's still like mad annoying you know what I'm saying because I've always been a person where like if I like something or it doesn't even have to be like about liking something. If I'm around somebody who's draining the positive energy out of whatever situation it is that I'm in at that moment, that's going to affect how I view it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm playing a video game or something with some friends and like the, the energy is like super negative and down and they're like, man, this shit is trash. You know, and that's like all you hear. Of course, you are going to instinctively and not on purpose start thinking the same way. You know, because I think that's just how us as humans are wired. Um, you are what you eat. You know, you practice what you preach. Um, all that stuff, you know, and who you have around you is super, super important. Um, also, with y'all not seeing my face and just seeing the road, uh, I hope you enjoy it because, you know, Kentucky is, it's a hit or miss state, like, just with overall, you know, <laughs> like, overall as a state, I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10, um, but the scenery and, you know, what it looks like, It'd be beautiful sometimes, but I ain't gonna cap. Um, so hopefully y'all enjoy the scenery. Um, it's like I'm giving y'all a tour, but really, it's just me driving and talking. Um, but anyways, let me get back to this this album before I get way way too off track. Basically, I think the album is great. I think, like I said, Eminem is still one of greatest rappers ever uh he shows it time and time again he's had albums that you know i wasn't like super super fond of but overall you know he's always made solid music um but like i said about just the artwork he's insane like i don't I don't know all of it, all of the lyrics on it, obviously, because, you know, that's going to take a long time to really, truly understand the words that he's actually saying, but if you just go and you listen to the album and try to just dissect the rap part of it, he is a fucking wizard with everything he does, and that beats that he'd be having because uh, I don't know if it's Dr. Dre or Tick Keith or whoever's making his beats um, his, the beat selection is crazy and his wordplay like his ability to rhyme a whole not even just a sentence like just a whole bar you know like just straight four four lines or three long, how many ever, of just rhyming the whole sentence. And just the way he can like place words or break down the syllables of words to like make it rhyme with the last word that he said, but it's like a totally different word, you know? And it's just, you really just have to go and listen. And the features that he had on there were really solid. Um, he had that song, with Baby Tron and Big Sean, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know who Baby Tron was. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, he's clearly good enough to be on Eminem's album, so I'll have to probably check him out. Um, but it's funny because me and my woman both, when we were listening to the song the first time, we both truly didn't know which one was Baby Tron. Like, we thought his verse and Big Sean's verse were both Big Sean because they, they kind of sound similar, you know. Um, 
But I love Big Sean. Big Sean's always been one of my favorites. I think Big Sean's super talented. Um, he had J.I.D. on there. Uh, of course, he had Bazaar on there. Um, Haley Gray, I think that's her name. That singer. I think that's her name. Skylar Gray, whatever her name is. It's about that song. Or it's about uh, Haley and that one song. Um, but I don't know, man. I just think people need to just lighten up, you know? Uh, because he's clearly not going to stop doing what he's doing. Because he's been doing it his whole career, you know? Um, and he's going to continue to do it. And people listen to him. Like, he's one of the... I think he's the only hip-hop artist ever to have two of, like, the highest-selling albums ever. And a woman actually told me a stat on the top 250 albums. Like, it's a chart. It's like an ongoing chart. Um, Eminem has an album or so. One or two albums. That's still on the top 250. I think it's one of, it's either the Marshall Mathers LP or the Slim Shady LP. Um, and if you think about that, that is fucking crazy because he's been rapping professionally since like 98, 97. And there's been a lot of albums overall that have come out since 1998, 1999. Like the top 250 you still have an album in the top 250 and you've been rapping professionally since 98, 99. Like, that just doesn't, that just doesn't make sense. And I really truly believe that he is like the LeBron James of rap. Like, he just, he just, he continues to deliver and he continues to deliver at a really, really high level. Um, the overall, like, rating that I gave it on the first listen was a 6.5 out of 10. Um, just because, you know, it was a really good album at first, and I enjoyed it. But, you know, I didn't want to be biased and just be like, oh, it was a 9. Because, you know, you can't really, truly get, like, an album's full, just the whole mood, you know, catching all this and that, and like, hearing what you say here, and this and that, and just getting, just the overall feel of the album, you know, you can't get that when you first start, but I've listened to it through and through probably three or four times now, and I feel like it gets better every time, but obviously I don't get to a point where it, uh, like it reaches its full rating for me, uh, which realistically would probably be a, like a 9 or a 10, um, because it's a really solid album, man, he's just, he's such a, he's such a talented artist, and he's so good, I just can't really fathom how people can truly think that he's garbage or something, you know, but at the same time, you just, you can't listen to people, because, it's not for everybody. Everything's not for everybody. But, but like me personally, you know, I love hip hop so much, and I love rap so much that projects like that are just—it's like a breath of fresh air. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. If you haven't listened to it, I would suggest to go listen to it, especially if you're a rap artist. Um, if you're easily offended. Try not to hold on to every word that he says because he makes fun of literally everybody and himself. So and he's been doing that his whole career. And if you watched Eight Mile, the last rap battle, or one of the rap battles, he said, he basically dissed himself. He said, um, what did he say? He said, 
fuck a B, I go a cappella, fuck a Papa Doc, fuck a clock, fuck a trailer, fuck everybody. Fuck y'all if you doubt me. I'm a piece of fucking white trash, I say it proudly. And fuck this battle, I don't wanna win, I'm out here telling people something they don't know about me. That's basically what he said on this album, you know? Like, there's really nothing you can say that'll bother him. <laughs> and I think that's hilarious. Because we are starting to live in that episode of Black Mirror you know, the one where, like, they rate everybody on, like, every interaction that they get. And you can, like, see what rating you get. We're slowly starting to become that as a reality. And it's fucking terrible. Um, because everybody is just so sensitive. And I really never thought that, uh, why is this person going so slow? I know we're in a neighborhood, but Jesus, man. Our old woman. Um, sorry. Those are cruel, I shouldn't have said that. Um, but, you know, just learn how to lighten up a little bit, man, and your life will be so much better because, you know, it's all about just having a good time. That's really all it's about, is having a good time. And this looks like a traffic jam, and that cop, did y'all just see what that cop did? Is that legal? Is that legal? Somebody tell me if that's legal. What the hell? See, that's, 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 that's the shit I be talking about, bro. Oh, it was a green light. Okay. My bad. I didn't mean to talk shit about the cop. My fault. Um, but yeah, anyways. Um, if you're a hip-hop fan or an Eminem fan, uh, check out the album. You know, it's really solid. It's a great album. Uh, I'll give it right now, today, July, whatever it is, 15th, 14th. Um, I give it a solid eight, eight and a half right now. Solid eight and a half. I'm gonna listen to it a few more times and the rating will probably, probably go up. Uh, that's what happens. You can't really get the full, like I said, the full feel of an album first couple walkthroughs or a couple first couple uh, playthroughs um, but yeah this is a this is the first episode of don't look at me I'm nervous you can't see my face but just know that I'm looking at you and I'm in your ears um, hopefully there's more episodes to come because I enjoy talking and I enjoy driving and I'll try to change the scenery every now and then. Most of the time it'll be like when I'm driving to work, you know, so you'll see like the interstate. And I'll try not to speed because I don't want people to be concerned about my driving. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, man, uh, I enjoyed this. I'm gonna try to pump these out because it's very, very easy. And I enjoy talking. I enjoy speaking to people. And if you do watch this or you do listen to this, uh, say what's up, man. And, you know, ask me some questions. You know, tell me what you want to hear about. This, that, or the other, the third. And uh, we'll get this thing popping together, you know. So, this is the first episode of Don't Look at Me, I'm Nervous. I'm Swaggy K. Everybody... Stay blessed, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Peace. The sound, King Sir, and I'm still wearing the crown. Still think I'm a dog and belong in the pound. Well, how about I just keep on chasing them down? Shit on your grass, I keep coming around.